global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. Today was quite an interesting day for PDP, especially considering the fact that there are crises in the PDP, and most people believe that very soon that the National Working Committee will be kind of rejig so that the right things can be done and so that the party can be sustained. Now, in Taraba State today, where the governor of Taraba State's daughter got married, so many people were in attendance, as you can see in the video. Um, the governor, all the PDP governors, you know, yesterday they had a meeting, so all of them were present alongside the vice president and also. A lot of APC governors, they were there to celebrate with him. But interestingly, it was also an opportunity for uh, Damagom, Umar Damagom, who is the acting national chairman, to meet. I, I think that's one of their major meetings after all the crisis, met with the River State governor. And, uh, you, you know, politicians will always be politicians. That's why you don't have to fight and die for them. We could see them exhibiting high level of maturity. You know, there was no singing against or singing for. They exchanged pleasantry. Uh, Bala Mohammed, who is the chairman of the PDP uh, Governors Forum, was very much present. We saw them, even the vice president, had an opportunity of exchanging greetings with, uh, you know, the governor of River State. And, you know, all of that had happened. Celebration took place. But interestingly, it's also important for us to know that something is cooking and most of of the key stakeholders in PDP seems to be adding their voice, demanding the eviction of some persons who are responsible for the possible collapse of PDP. And this time around is coming from a former Kogi West Senator, Dino Malayi. As he has decided to open up this closing to all that case to listen to him, the three political stakeholders in People's Democratic Party who are working assiduously for the collapse of the party. But you know, when he made mention of the list, uh, there were some names which I may call the invisible voice uh, or the voices behind the uh, cotton whom he did not mention. I wouldn't also bother to disturb any of them with it but however we already know that there's someone who is behind all these chaos but however let's look at what he had to say about um, this three person. According to the news the former Kogi State West or Kogi West Senator Dino Malai has disclosed that three political stakeholders in the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have irredeemably destroyed the party. Speaking via his, one of his social media accounts, Melai accused PDP National Chairman Omar Damagom, the party National Secretary Samuel Anyamu, and Organizing Secretary Omar Batore of destroying the former ruling party. He also hinted that the commercialization and hinted at the commercialization and privatization of the party. This was what Malayi said, and I quote, he said, end of the road for People Democratic Party as Damagom Batore and Anya will irredeemably destroy the party. We will talk about the commercialization and privatization of PDP. PDP is now once upon a time. Mm. Don't forget that it's been reported that there have been indications that the People Democratic Party National Working Committee might sanction Damagom and the National Secretary Samuel Anyamu for an alleged letter to the Court of Appeal in Port Harcourt. The letter was signed as an anti-party activity and some party leaders, including members of the National Executive Council, make push for action against Damagom and Anyamu. However, Damagom warned that nobody can intimidate him into resigning from his position. He said those calling for his resignation are only enhancing his popularity. Speaking at the inauguration of the National Reconciliation and Disciplinary Committee, the acting chairman berated those spreading misinformation about the NWC operations. Wow, this is uh, quite interesting. Three persons he had made mention. But, you know, just like uh, this guy will speak up, the honorable... Uh, uh, member representing Idi Atonor Stroksa constituency who have wadded into the case in River State, talking about the person of uh, Ugo Chinyere. He's always been telling Nigerians and those who care to listen that these guys are actually acting the script of somebody. And he will always point at Wiki. 
that they are acting the script of wicked. But then, if we must look at this issue from the viewpoint of maturity, I don't think that anyone should care to call in wicked over some of the actions and decisions that grown men who were charged with the responsibility of leading a party are making. Yes, they may be influenced, but that influence is not such that they are putting a gun on their neck. And if, you don't, if they don't carry out whatever those guys are, whatever Wike is demanding, they will be taken down. There is no such news anywhere. So it, it means that all of their action, if truly they are acting the script of someone, is a clear indication that the whole action is sponsored by their greediness. You understand? Imagine a party that is struggling to stand. You are trying to even wreak more havoc on it, especially as it has to do with the crisis in River State. Don't forget that it was this guy that came out to tell the whole Nigeria, Iken Gaugo Chinyere, that something is frying beneath. And what he said was the fact that Damagom is doing all in his power to ensure that he restores back the lawmakers in River State who had cross capital to APC. And uh, that is why he sent a letter pushing for, you know, the case for the impeachment of uh, Fubara too. You know, keep going. But I, 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 I won't want to fight for the politicians because we just saw today the way they were exhibiting so much maturity when they met. Even someone like uh, Fubara did not even squeeze his face. He was laughing and hawking, as you can see, hugging the Magom and all of that. But I, I know that's some act of maturity. Something is likely going on. Political betrayal is underground. But just like this guy had rightly pointed out, I think that these three persons should be uh, disciplined once and for all if the National Executive Council wants to watch the party maintain its position as the number one opposition party in Nigeria. Don't forget, 2027 very soon will be in the polls and uh, most Nigerians are wishing to see the country being hijacked from APC. Considering the level of failure we have seen thus far, it's not something that anybody is trying to fall force on them it's very conspicuous that apc had failed both in buhari's time and this current administration though this current administration are still using the terms of uh, the previous administration that's buhari's administration that give us more time and all of them but decisions made thus far does not show that there is a future that uh, we are heading or there is a direction we are heading which is unpredictable only predictable by them because already we are seeing the future that are not heading anywhere however this is the right time that any sane national party leader should equip his house such that before that day already they will roll out a candidate and see how they go win. But these guys, with the way that things are going, it's very conspicuous that they want the party to diminish in their hand. They want it to build enough cracks in its wall such that just one throw at it, it will you know, scatter. And that's not good enough. I feel that now that everyone seems to have woken up, they shouldn't just stand on the social media, you know, to speak up as much as, you know, perusing through the constitution of the party to see the loopholes that they can use to nail these people. Let them use it, you know, so that once again, PDP can resuscitate and get back his glorious nature that he had always been getting. Everything should not revolve around one person. You know, Nidino Malaya stylishly talked about the issue of commercialization and privatization of PDP. Because right now, PDP seems to be in the grip of just one man who has sworn he's not going anywhere until he fulfills his purpose, which, according to him, claims that he is trying to treat the injustice against other party members and all of that. But we know he's not doing that. He's really the random of the party. But we are hopeful that now that everybody seems to wake up, from, seems to have woken up from their slumber, they will treat the three persons if they are found, or let me say, they will be put in a scale. They should put them in a scale. And if they are found wanting, the right thing should be done so that the party can grow back. Don't forget that a party does not belong to one man, but belongs to the generality of the members. And the more the waste time, the more the cracks will continue. And before we know, cross capitalism will start taking place. Let's leave it there. Let's be in our comment section. Now that this, these three names have been spelled out by another top politicians, politician in APC, what, uh, PDP, what's your stand? Global happenings today. We communicate.